Greetings travelers and good morning. My name is Pine and welcome back to another New World video. Today we're going to be talking about Launch Week and everything that you need to know to ensure a smoother experience. These last few days have been putting in a ton of time and effort and I'm almost level 40 on my main character. These last few days have been nothing but fun and I really appreciate everyone that stopped by to the channel to check out the videos and stop by the live stream to say hello. It really means the world to me and I hope to continue to create new world content for you guys. With that being said, let's get into today's video. We're going to be talking and addressing all of the common issues and questions and problems that I've seen during launch week and hopefully this will help you better understand what to do. This video is going to be going pretty quick as I want to get to the main points and honestly I want to get back to the game. So we're going to be going right on into it. First things first, every time you go to a settlement, make sure you zoom in on the map and check out the layout of the city. The icons will tell you where the crafting and refining stations are. They will also tell you where the trade post is, each of the faction representatives, your storage sheds, your inn, and various quests. Each of the settlements can also be clicked on and you can see who controls it, which faction controls it, the crafting, refining, and taxes, as well as the influence. Your map is a very valuable tool and can be used to pin objectives, to update in real time. Don't forget to check out the sidebar in which you can see where all of your current questing objectives are, the upcoming wars, the resource locator, which will help you find some resources. Now, there's also external websites, which will do a much better job, but this is in game. After familiarizing yourself with the town, make sure you go around and pick up a variety of quests. Talk to your faction representative and pick up all of the quests. If you don't feel like PVPing, leave the bottom three. But if you feel like getting a bunch of EXP, make sure you grab all six quests. Then stop by the town board and all the locals that have a quest for you. Run through the town and make sure you find anyone with a gold icon above their head as it usually indicates that they have a mission for you. At the town board, you'll have various missions to complete for XP. These will tend to be gathering, hunting, or crafting quests and can be completed while passively playing the game. I strongly recommend to avoid some of the hunting ones like rabbits, turkey, elk, lynx, and more. The crafting ones will give great EXP, and basically anything fishing or cooking related, I abandon for now. The next most commonly asked question I've seen is how to advance my faction rank. When you visit your faction representative, you'll see your current rank and reputation here. The reputation is broken up into individual points. When you reach the threshold for this point, you'll be able to go on to the next rank. The rank also has a level requirement. The first faction advancement quest requires level 24. At this point, you'll be heading to Brightwood. You'll need to be at least level 25 to do the faction missions in this settlement though. You'll find more information on the faction advancement quest by pressing J by default to bring up your journal, going to side stories and then scrolling through until you find your faction advancement. This will generally tell you to earn a specific reputation and then seek out another member of your faction in a difficult territory. For my Marauder Advancement quest, I was sent all the way down to Cutlass Keys, had to speak to the representative in the settlement, and then I had to kill some elite monsters in Dead Man's Anchor. One quick thing we need to talk about is if you can, enable PvP, as this will provide you with a 10% experience bonus. However, if you find yourself getting killed often, it's not really worth it to waste your time. It's okay to toggle it off and just go about your day. Keep in mind that if you do land a killing blow, oftentimes you'll get a lot of player experience and weapon experience. Do yourselves a favor and go ahead and check the trading post. When you go to the trading post, this is where people list items for sale. You might be able to find some rare items that you've been looking for. Trade posts are settlement specific, but in the top right, you can go ahead and view other settlements or all settlements. You might be able to go ahead and find yourself some good early game gathering tools. For example, five gold for some iron tools, six gold for some iron tools. I'm sure these tools could really speed up the process for someone and they're located over in Windsward. One more thing I want to draw attention to is using your storage shed to transfer items between territories that your faction owns. When looking at the map, it's broken into multiple territories. These territories can be controlled by the different factions. You can move items between storage sheds as long as they belong to territories that your faction owns. For example, I'm here in Weaver's Fen, and I need some of my materials in Windsward. I go to my storage shed, look in the top right corner, and bring the drop down menu and find Windsward. This will now show my Windsward inventory and I can go ahead and grab items, whatever I need. For example, I need the fibers for a town board mission quest, so I'll go ahead and drag it to my inventory. Then by paying a small gold fee, the item will now be in my inventory here. This is very useful, but it can only be done between territories that your faction controls. One last tip I want to give you guys is a fast travel tip. 
If you guys are away from your settlement and you have a bunch of quests to turn in, what you could do is locate a nearby body of water. Now, not only is this relaxing for your character, it's relaxing for you. Because after a short period of time, your character will soon fall over and perish. When giving up, you'll have the option to return to the nearest settlement. This can really speed up the time and get you back to town faster. The only thing that you have to worry about upon death is that your gear and equipment will take some durability damage. If your gear is broken, it'll have to be repaired using repair parts. You can hover over your item, R and left click to repair, bringing up a prompt that'll tell you it costs gold and repair parts. To get repair parts, you can salvage old gear. You can salvage gear by pressing S and left click. This will bring up a prompt and let you know that you'll be receiving parts and gold. I hope that video answered some of the questions you guys may have had and hopefully helps you out on your adventures. I also wanted to give a quick update for the people who haven't been able to watch the grind so far. I'm rapidly approaching level 40. I'm currently playing on NA East Eden and running a company with my friends on the Marauder side. Our company is called The Eternal and we've currently claimed three territories on the map. We have three territories on the map, Windsward, Cutlass Keys, and Reekwater. Now, of course, this is the beginning week. But what I'm really excited for is the upcoming wars. Hopefully, we'll be able to defend our territory and prove our worth. As always, I leave it for the end, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me, and I swear just last video I was thanking you guys for 3,000 subscribers. And now I'm pleased to announce we're well on our way towards 10,000 subscribers. This will be the next major milestone of the channel, and I can't wait to hit it. If you enjoyed today's video, I strongly recommend you check out the others on my channel, as they will greatly improve and help your experience along the way. As always, don't forget to do the normal YouTube things, like the video, press the notification bell for more New World content, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear how your launch day went. I know it was a two-sided coin, with some people being able to play and some people being in the queue. Last thing, if you're watching this video when it's uploaded, chances are we're probably live streaming right now on Twitch. We're doing the New World Grind and pushing past level 40. I would love if you could stop by and say hello and hang out with everybody. That's all for me, and as always, safe travels through Aeternum.